Race four, I did not get the start, but it looked like Jungle Ball. Kose nailed it. Kevin, they moved the pin end up before the start. Looks like Bella, not a great start again. She's gonna come out of this fine, I think. I'm gonna call this race again because this is, uh, this is taking a while. The rest of the kids are just like not doing anything. We'll see what happens here. Our goal for Taylor was to get to left. Kevin doesn't look headed out there. So Taylor might be okay. But the problem is, is that we just don't have any wind. So it's hard to gain here when... Okay, I just saw Anton tack, 8662, and he looks like a decent angle. Taylor's doing good because he's not over trimming. But if what happened the last race happens this race, all of a sudden a huge lefty fills in and we're on the right. He's trying to do what I taught him. Yeah, here's the righty. I mean, here's the lefty. What am I saying? Your only choice would be to tack, I think. But you finally got a break, dude. You finally got a break. The righty, the, oh good, look at this. Oh, he's gone. Thank goodness, he finally got a break. He had a really good start, and it turned out to be a general recall. Well, he might have been over general recall, but now, finally got a little righty, and it looks like the righty is what's winning out. So, he's had some good first up win legs. Race four, you can see it's a challenging race. Where we got here? One minute to go, Bella here. Catherine right here. And you see how on Port Tack they're getting headed, they're getting wind shift from the right, so that means try to start relatively close to the boat right now. Okay, Bella should slow down. Too bad Catherine's pinned. Now Catherine should tack. See the learn to race fleet has got some challenges. Catherine's gonna benefit from it. Bella's gonna get like Catherine's gonna come out sweet out of this. There she goes. Woo. Just got clear. And she's gonna have more win than anybody. Catherine's not pointed high enough. Check love! Check left. Race four. Chuck Eaton winning. Anton right there. Coast, 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 coast. Heel, flat. That's how you do it. You don't roll the boat. You just stay there. Anton's first. Taylor's all the way out left corner. And he's very coachable. I've told him I'm, we want to start looking towards the left. If we can, unfortunately, uh, it was really probably bad advice because lately we've seen big right puffs, but he's doing the right thing. He's just away from everybody. And he just nailed attack. He's gonna be one, two, three, four, five. He's gonna be in the top six right now. Starboard attack looks headed. Good for him. Yeah, port tax looks lifted, so he's fourth right now. Now he's probably fifth. It looks like 9536 is getting Chucky rounding first. So this is a great event, you guys. The adults are schooling us. There's Anton in second. So the biggest people in the fleet, here's Danny North. Danny North's an adult. So the biggest, in third, the biggest people in the fleet are kind of showing us that weight is not the biggest factor.
It has not been windy, right? You've been watching the whole video. It hasn't been windy, and the biggest people are kind of in the top five regularly. Chuck Sinks is having one bad race right here. 10312. He's in. So here comes Taylor in fourth. Fifth, sixth. So Chuck, seventh. So Taylor should look at Danny North, sail really fast just to windward of Danny and tack. Because starboard's got to be lifted. So get a little speed, heel to lure it a little, get a little further. I would have gone a little further. But that was a pretty darn good tack, so I'm happy. I would have gone a little further just because of bad air. If I could have just gone a little further, I wouldn't be going under anybody. But there we go. Last race of the La Playa series on Wednesday, August 5th. For Bella, we're trying not to set up so early, and she definitely isn't setting up too early. Trying to teach her how to sail up to the line from behind the line. Oh, Danny. General recall. Beautiful day. Race five. A, B, C1, C2 fleet. I flag is up. There's Kevin. So it's been a good day. Kevin, Bella. I'm trying to have Bella come in a little later than before. Oh, Taylor. You got to start going, dude. Say lured boat, lured boat, feather, feather. Yeah, we got to get better at forcing those guys over early, though. I know you're trying to be nice, but there's Kevin. Another good start, dude. So Kevin's in the top five in the regatta. Maybe he's top six now. That's pretty impressive in a big fleet like this. So Taylor could have had a better start if he would have forced Asher up higher, and Taylor should stay. Wait a little longer until he can tack and not have to duck Danny. And he's also got Anton here on starboard right here, so he would have to duck Anton. I think he stays. Bella out on the left. You're going to see her pop out. 9983. She's having a much better race this time. So she's got a power boat that's like overtaking her at Mach 10. help her probably not usually wakes don't now the problem is is that all these guys are on huge lifts here so she's just got to go all the way to the ley line she should tack before that guy's prop wash now she should foot off and accelerate like crazy just accelerate like crazy she's not in the righty so she got far enough left that she's gonna probably round first should just be footing like crazy right now. Yeah, she's don't bluff in this position. You gotta put the bow down and just reach. Luckily, all these boats are have no wind. No wind. Kevin right in there, amazing day. Kevin is right, oh, Kevin, don't call starboard on that guy. Oh, he told him he had kelp, that's nice. So that's Chuck Sinks. And that's, oh, it's going right hard. There's Taylor and Anton and Kevin. Taylor. Okay, we gotta hope Bella gets, gets a puff here. She's doing the right thing. Overstanding on the left when you're in a righty. You just gotta keep going as far to the left as you can, but you do have to just go down. Yeah, unfortunately. That's too bad. Okay. Our man had a couple tough races, and look at him now. He's rounding second in this race. He had a top five the last race, so he just rebounded huge. Bella's going to keep trying here. I think she'll come back. There he goes. There's Danny sitting up high. See how Danny sails downwind, sitting way high, and he's just trying not to move. Here's Taylor. That looks good. Heel to leeward. Look at Kevin, fifth. Here's Chucky. 
coming around the outside. So Kevin should jive. Kevin should jive. Starboard's definitely faster. Yeah, dude. Now he's gonna get beat here a little bit, but he's these guys back here have wins, so he's just gotta keep going straight. Soon as he gets pressure, come down. He's going too high. See how his telltales are flying? He's gotta go down. 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 Still sailing too high. See how he's just losing to Chuck this whole time because he's sailing too high. Wow, he won this puff. What? Something broke? There's Bella right here, needs the main. Trim, girl! There's Catherine winning. C3, the last race. If Catherine wins the last race. Guaranteed top three or four in the regatta, I think. Keeps she's been top six every race in about a 20-something boat fleet. Very good, I think she's first. Race, they have a whole nother lap. Oh, that was just a beautiful tack. Anton first, Danny second, Taylor third. So Taylor moved up a lot. If there's a throw out in this race, he's gonna be really good. Kevin's gonna be the guy who's really good with a throw out. Kevin is the top Coronado kid today. A C2 is our top Coronado kid. That's awesome. Kevin, Kevin, you just leave Al's Asher, an eighth leader, like a chance, like an eighth leader. Okay, Bella can still catch all these guys. I'm not sure why she's just not getting those shifts. We'll figure Figured it out. out what's broken. Look at the back of his boom. His main sheet block blew off the very back of his boom, so he's actually trimming. He's actually trimming from, you can't see it from here, but he's actually trimming off of his main sheet preventer. He's doing so good, and he's sailing top five easily. C3, going downwind. There's, Catherine's in there somewhere. There she is, she's in second or third. One zero 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 two over there. So she's in third right now. <laughs> so horizon job for the first place guy. Here's Taylor. Kevin's got some problems here because he's got all this bad air. Taylor's just going to sail right past him here because Kevin should just tack out of there. Or he should just keep going actually. There's clear air straight ahead. He's just vacuum bagged right now though. No, look at the speed difference between Taylor and it's just because Kevin just did so much disturbed wind because of all of these boats, see that? So as we get better and better, we start to read that. Kevin's starting to get a little clear air now. Oh, there's Bella in there, doing pretty well in the C3 fleet. So she's in second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven, eight, nine. So good day for Bella. Look at Kevin, just nail the shift here, dude. Watch these tacks we've developed with him too. The let go of the tiller tacks. Watch, see if he does it. Eases it. Just lets the tiller kind of go away from him. Ooh. Oh, he pushed it a little. That's all right. Heel. Flat. Could have waited a little longer before doing the flat. There we go. He's rounding third. Fourth. Crazy good. Here comes Taylor. He weaseled really good around some C3s. Great last two races. 